Barry Woods, also known as Billy Black, spent many years travelling the world on the professional sheep shearing circuit. Billy has shorn in the USA, England, Scotland, Wales, Germany and Australia to name but a few. Back in New Zealand, Billy and 15 other shearers were involved in a world record, which 30 years later still stands today. On that incredible day, Billy and his 15 fellow shearers shore over 8,500 sheep, with Billy himself shearing an amazing 675 sheep. A few years on, in the mid-90s, Billy retired from the sheep shearing game. But did he slow down and put his feet up? No, not Billy. He bought himself a sheep and beef farm and set about creating Woodland Park, a tourism complex surrounded by motels that has been voted one of the top 10 most unique in the world. Billy also designed a stage show centred around New Zealand's pioneer history. The Lonely Planet quoted Billy's act as one hell of a show. Billy now has over 15 years experience entertaining people from schools to corporate groups, cruise ships to tourists from all over the world. Billy also tours New Zealand, performing at some of the country's largest agricultural shows. Often he takes along with him his star performer, Jonah, a lovable and extremely clever Cooney Cooney pig. Jonah is known to many as the hog on a hog because he loves riding on the back of Billy's Harley trike. But Jonah is most comfortable on stage, helping Billy tell their story as supporters in the campaign for wool. Billy has now produced an incredible show to take around the world. The show showcases the amazing natural product that is wool. So let the resurrection of wool begin. G'day. Isn't this cool? Folks, this is wool. And you'd be amazed at what we're making out of wool. And no one knows anything about it. I'm going to show you some of them in a minute, over the next 30 minutes. And uh, I'm going to bring you the story of wool. The story of wool. Where do we start? We started with the pioneers, our great granddads, wasn't it? Great granddads arrived here and had to clear the land of bush. So we need a couple of pioneers on stage to start our story about wool. A couple of so we have some young pioneers, eh? You've got to go hard though. You've got to be fit. You've got to be tough. Pioneers were tough. They were fit. You guys fit? Tough? Okay, you two down there, come up here. Come on. Look at that for a real man's saw, okay? So one on each end. Unless you're Irish, you both stay on that end, all right? Okay, come around here. Grab a handle. Okay. Hang on, there's something missing. Oh, safety gear. Of course. Osh, rules, safety gear. Hang on, guys. Hang on, my granddad's great granddad's safety gear. Here, here, look at this. Much better. Lots safer, eh? Put it around that way, we've got a safer edge. Right, you right? That should be done. Look at this. Sawdust flowing. What a great exhibition. Give them a big hand, folks. Good work, guys. Excellent. That is one of the better sawing exhibitions we've ever seen, guys. Now, to make that post, they had no chainsaws. They had this one amazing piece called a splitting gun. That thing there. Splitting gun. And this is like a baby cannon. See the hollow of the gun barrel? Right up to their little wee hole. And they take it and they fill it up with gunpowder. So it's quite a charge of gunpowder goes in this thing. And then they got their log. I'll just grab my log here. They got their log. And they drilled a hole in the end like I've done there to get it started. Then they filled it up with gunpowder. And they hit it in that big log with a hammer called a maul. Look at this for a real man's hammer. <laughs> okay. So you bash that thing in tight, full of powder. That little hole I showed you halfway up there, kids. They grab a fuse. They stick it in there. They light it and run like heck. There's a massive explosion in here. Kapow! Fires a shot down the log and rips it in two. That log. Now nothing should happen at this stage. Okay, don't worry about that. It should. Everything should be okay. All right, if you just hold that. You got insurance? Good. You're probably, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, fully insured. Okay. Hold it. Oh, just hold it still. Hold it still. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll miss. The, yeah. Oh, so, sorry. Sorry, I had a hard night last night. Hold it still. <laughs> Keep it on. It'll go out. Keep it on. Keep it going to the top. At the top. Yeah, just there. Yep, yep. Keep it going. Keep it going. It'll go out. You've got to melt all the tar. See how the thick tar is forming there? You've got the tar actually covering the powder. If you can just... I think it's because you've shaken the thing that much. It's... Oh, come back! <laughs> now, can you just go and push that down into the powder? <laughs> it's your job! <laughs> just wait there. I'll tell you what. This happens in the bush. The powder has actually got damp. Probably overnight, leaving it out with the lid on. I'm just going to pull that out of there very quickly, kids. If I can get it out smartly, we can reset that thing. I'll tell you what. Let's see. Oh, no, look out. It's going to go. <laughs> Give her a big hand, sir. Thanks. I'll pick her up. I want you kids to count the three. You ready? <laughs> Three seconds, that sheep has to be relaxed, folks. Because I'll tell you what, in America, they believe we have to drug the sheep to get the wool. Honestly. And some of them even believe we have to kill the sheep, but we don't have to, do we? Totally relaxed. Okay, guys, we away we go. Let's go. Ho, go. Real fast. Just a bit faster if you can. A bit quicker. You're going to have to go quicker. Yeah, that's it. Go, that's it. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. A bit faster. That's it. We're away. Here we go. I'm up to help. This is a tough job, folks. And he's doing well. There we go. Look at that. Oh, we got a power surge. Hang on. Power surge. Just take your time. There's a long way through. Save the energy. That's it, keep it going. Get the boy out the leg. You're nearly there. Dig it in. Just a bit more. Keep it going. A little bit more. Keep it going. You're nearly there. A bit more. Give a, give a hand, folks. But now I'm going to show you something special. I'm going to show you something my great granddad showed me about sheep and wool. Because you're looking at there. A great natural product. I'm going to show you something. Now, I'm just going to lie Barbara down. Now, Barbara, you are feeling very, very sleepy. And it's going to be a bit hard with that sound system going there, but I'm going to try and put Barbara to sleep, okay? Now, if I lay her down, and folks, this has been proven around the world. If you go to bed at night with a woolen underlay, like this, look, I'm just going to lay it down on her woolen underlay, and you have a woolen duvet, that's proven. You'll get a far better night's sleep than on anything that is not man-made like this, a natural product. And if I just rub her back very gently... Very gently, you are very, very sleepy. You're going into a deep, deep sleep. Now, folks, you will have seen Crocodile Dundee. You would have heard of the horse whisperer, Billy Black, the sheep whisperer. Okay, I'll just snap my fingers, and here she comes. Whoa. And one thing for sure... You're looking at something that is natural, renewable. Barbara grows that back. Every year she grows another fleece. And it's amazing what's been made out of wool. This has been made out of wool, look. That's grease for the farmers, used on your tractors and everything, for your, for your nuts and your bolts, sir. <laughs> nuts and bolts, that's lanoline off the sheep, kids. It grows, it's on the sheep with the wool. Do you know, we were at the US Open. New Zealand was at the US Open. And you're thinking, who do we got that's a tennis player? Well, it was a tennis ball with New Zealand wool. Look at that. Look at that. New Zealand wool. 
We don't skight enough about it. Brilliant, aren't we clever Kiwis, eh? Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is for your roof of your house. Your bats in the ceiling, hey? Eh? Look at this. This is, under, this is uh, weed matting. Look at that. Hey, look at this one, guys. This is amazing. Found this up at the field days in the North Island. Wool grow. It's a mat. It's actually dags. Waste wool. And they've rolled out into a mat. And they've got carrots in this one. It's got carrot seed in it. And you roll it out on the ground, sprinkle a bit of dirt on it, throw some water on it, and there's your garden. Isn't it beautiful, hey? Well, I'll tell you what, what we're going to do is prove how great wool is. And I need a lady on stage to help me. My friend Cherie here is going to prove to you just how fantastic wool is. Okay, Cherie, what do we need? Oh, I'll tell you what we need. There's a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's, let's show the kids how good wool is. I got this here. Look at this. This great big torch, gas torch. Something dangerous. My whole life is dangerous. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm on my sixth wife, all right? <laughs> okay, if you can hold on to that. Now, this thing is about 450 degrees, somewhere around that, they reckon. Could be 500 degrees, okay? So don't, when it's going, don't sort of look at him over there and wander around and sort of wipe me out, okay? Yep. Okay, so we'll turn this on. And that went on. And you watch this baby go. She's hot, folks. This is red hot stuff. All right, it's all right, it's all right. This is just like a heater at home. Look at that. Fine. Whew. Okay. That's hot. Now, folks, I'm going to show you something. All the clothes that we wear. Most of you are wearing synthetics. And I'll show you something about synthetics, which a lot of adults know. Yeah. Are you wearing synthetics? Yes. We'll practice on you next. Right. We turn this baby up a bit. This is synthetics, and this is what happens when synthetics gets near flame, folks. It just instantly just melt. Away it goes. And I tell you what, it's instant. Look at that. Boom. And then you stand on it, and you put it out, and it just melts onto your foot or onto your arm, and it will keep burning. In fact, I got a bit on my finger the other day, and it just kept burning. It didn't stop. Oops, it's burning my gumboot now. So that is synthetics when you get it near fire. Folks. This is Brim Cavalier carpet, 40 years old I think this is, about, no, about 35 years old. I'm going to do the same to the carpet. This is pure wool, made in New Zealand. Right, just, I want you to just turn it round, twist it round. Now twist it in your hand, twist it, yeah, bring it round and just down about there. Hold it there and I'm going to put it up to the flame. And you watch this, we're going to roast this carpet. We're going to roast it, look at this. Really burn it. Look at that. Roast it. Roast it. You can't burn it because I'll show you. This is wool, folks. This is wool. The magic of wool. Look at that. That is pure New Zealand wool, folks. Brilliant. Made in New Zealand. Brilliant. I tell you what. I tell you what we're going to do, kids. We're going to go one step further. I believe in wool. I believe it's a great natural product. So I'm going to get my friend Cherie to try it on me. This is wool. This is made in New Zealand, folks. About just over 40 years ago, my mother and my father got together. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm talking about the, the jersey. The jersey. Made in New Zealand. This is made in Manawatu. Manawatu knit wool. Look at that. I'm going to put that torch on here. 450 degrees, and you'll see just how great wool is. Wrong. Okay, kids, you're not to try this sort of stuff. Not to try it at home, okay? Don't try any of this at home. Okay, can you turn that thing sideways? Turn it sideways. Okay, bring it up here. Up. Whoa, whoa. Now, um, uh, yep. Okay, now twist it down, 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 down. Not that far. Okay, drop it down, down, yeah, now bring it round towards me, whoa, hold it there, just bring it up a little bit, tip, tip, tilt it, no, the other way, other way, yep, bring it up, right, roasting. Whoa. Oh my God. <sighs> 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 it's 
Smoking. 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 I'll tell you what, folks. This is how good wool is as an insulation that kept the heat away from me. So much under here. You feel that? That's not hot, is it? Warm. Just what? Uh, keep rubbing lower. Low. <laughs> Folks, that is the quality of wool. The heat did not get to me. It insulates. It keeps the heat off. Look at that. Same in the summer with my nice shirt here. This is a nice thin merino shirt. I wear it in the summer. It's not hot. It keeps the heat out. And once again, it doesn't stink like synthetics. You know why it doesn't stink? Because wool absorbs moisture. It takes the sweat off your skin. And then it expels it into the air. So you don't stink wearing this merino. Beautiful. Pure merino, folks. And it won't burn. One litre of oil is what it takes to make what I've got on. The wool. There it is there. One litre. To make the synthetics. Takes not but one litre. It takes... One, two, this is to make one kilo, one kilo, my shirt here, one kilo of wool takes one litre of oil to make synthetics. Not three, not four, but five litres of oil to make the synthetics we all wear today. And going forward in future generations, the kids here, I suggest this is not sustainable, but guess what? Good old New Zealand wool will be and is. Thank you, folks. My name's Billy Black. I hope you enjoyed the show and spread the word for us. My friend, thank you.